send me the original. If you don't, if you don't start sending me the original the first time, stop sending me anything at all because I'm done. Uh, no, yes. uh, don't make a conclusion based on the little LCD screen because it's compressed. The image on your LCD screen on the back of the camera here would be so much smaller and compressed than when you get it on like a big 19, 20, 30 inch screen. Um, and then you can really look at the details. Look at all the details of the image. The angle of the shadows, direction of light sources, reflective surface, camera shape, uh, which is when you get that, sh that fuzziness all over the image. That's camera shape. Look for motion blur. That's when something is moving and you get that blurring effect. Everything else appears sharp, but that one thing appears to be moving. Ask for additional images in the same area. That, that way you can compare what's going on. Like while I'm looking at these anomalies, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I'm not sure what was in the room. So I asked for all the other pictures before and after so I can look at it and compare. And I also go online and look at it. And, and also with the images before and afterward, if you're faking photos, and I know this from faking UFO photos, you don't get it. You, you mess up a lot of the pictures. So if you see the whole roll of film or the whole sequence of images, um, they don't want to show it to you because there's yeah. some mistakes. You see the fishing pole. Yeah, and, that's a red flag. So you're like, well, no, I, I, I'm, I'd rather not. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Why not? Let's request images before and after. Yeah, look for the person's team. This is what I do a lot. When I get sent a photo and it's from a group, from a, a parallel team, I will look and research the crap out of the team to see what they're doing, how they do it, all their methods, what they posted to do for them. Because you'll find trends. Like the picture that I found, or the videos that I found, where the UK group was carrying flashlights around the world. And that was a dead giveaway. That was my last <coughs> point about what their picture was. So look at them, investigate them, find out how they, they proceed. <coughs> find out what kind of camera was used. Because if you're dealing with a camera like this, or you're dealing with a camera like this, um, the SLR, these are vastly different. Where the flash is, is important. You know, is it on the right, or left? Is it, is it dead center over the lens? Did they even use a flash? Did they use a mounted flash? Lens sizes are different too. Um, again, we talked about uh, hand position in the beginning. If you're holding it like this, you can get the hairs on your finger. You're not going to get that when that's all. Is it a picture of a screen? I get this so often. Instead of sending me the original picture, they bring it up on screen. They take a picture of the screen and send me that picture <laughs> instead. And, and you can see, usually you see the lines, the lines on it, or the source where you see the TV. <laughs> it's software. It's software. It's software. I'm like, what? Oh, surveillance cameras. I get that a lot. DVR cameras, security cameras. Instead of sending me the original photos, they want to send me a picture of a picture. I don't know why they do that. Uh, take the time to look at the image. Not everyone knows what you know. And, and this is probably the most important thing I can, I can stress. Be patient, because a lot of people that I deal with, although there are hoaxers, although there are people that don't give a shit what you say, they're going to believe what they want to believe, there are also a lot of people that genuinely think that they have something and they don't know any better. So I take the time, whether it's five minutes or five hours, I will take the time to talk to them and recreate it wherever I can and show them step by step how we made this picture and can we do it again. And I know from that point on, they're going to think about this. You know, from weeks to months later, they're going to think about the conversation and apply it to their, their reasoning. And that's, that's the point of what I do. Uh, I read and listen to the description after I look at the picture. So even if they send me like a book, because sometimes I get like 10 pages worth of a description of everything and, and what their mom was doing that night and they had soccer practice or whatever. I get it all. I don't care about that until I look at the picture because I want to look at the picture first for me and see what kind of details I can pick out. And then I look at the description because sometimes they give me extra details. Or sometimes the picture conflicts with what they say happened. And for me, I usually believe the picture rather than what they said. We, we make mistakes all the time. Uh, check, the person, check the person that's sending me the picture, because a lot of times I've found people that are notorious posters, and uh, it really 
although I'll still look at the picture, at least I have an idea of what I'm dealing with. And uh, lastly, uh, it's a little professional. If you're not a photographer, then, well, this really mostly to ghost artists I'm used to dealing with. If you're not a photographer, don't pretend to be. Um, if you're not sure, say, I don't know. Let me go call this guy or this person that I know that does photography and they can take a look at it. Um, and don't fall, fall for the, oh, I sent it to like 10 photographers and they all told me it, they couldn't explain it. What do we do when we hear that? Who are the photographers? Can I have their names because I want to I want to check their work. I want to verify what they did. And then it usually cuts off conversations. <laughs> yeah. um, but that's it. I'm done. This is some of my contact information. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, and, and I hope it was beneficial. You guys had a good time. If I have enough information, we can figure it out. Is that good? Yeah. Answer your question. 
How technical do you get with this stuff? I mean, do you use image analysis or anything like that? I get, I, I image analysis, you mean like a special software? Yeah. I do it all myself. I will go through, um, I look at the picture, I interview them, I get reference photos. If the location is close enough, I will go there and get pictures myself. Um, I will recreate the circumstances. I need all the information about who was there. Um, I'll look for, if it was an event that multiple people were at, I will track down like the Facebook or social media uh, event page and look for pictures of everybody that was attending. I make it a habit of taking pictures. When I go, I stand there with my camera. There's my camera. I stand at the door like this. And as they're going by, snap, 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 snap. If I have to take 20, 30, 100 pictures, I get pictures of everyone. Um, just so I know I have a reference of who was there. Because I often get pictures of partial people. Like we, some of the pictures I put up were only the arms or the legs. I need to know who was there and what they were wearing. You know, I don't, I don't know too many ghosts that wear like a Rolex or wear Nikes. Um, but um, does that answer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just last week, are you from Pennsylvania? Yes. I was in your neck of the woods. Uh, there, was a, there was a craft fair. I was telling Susan about this. And the last thing we did on the way out, we went to a photographer's stand. So we were selling very large group of photographs. And one was of the Freedom Tower at the World Trade Center site. And a woman was, was staring at it, and I was looking at it. And the guy goes, oh, this is a very important picture, and you have to buy it. Because I believe that the souls who died here are still here, and you can see them all if you look carefully and all the reflections in this picture. Okay. 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 Uh, a lot of these effects that you described are surely have been well known to the makers of uh, film. Yes. Uh, back before Photoshop and computer generated graphics and so forth. Have you, have you studied any of these old uh, cinematography techniques as uh, uh, part of your repertoire? I did, yes. Yeah. I, I'm not proficient in it yet, but I haven't. I read up on it. I've been a member of uh, the local camera club for a while and. They were nothing but old guys. <laughs> um, but it was great hanging out with them. Because, and I also have a, a, a nice wide circle of photographer friends that I consult. And so it's not always me. When I get these analyses, it's not just me. I write up what I think happened and what I see. And then I usually send it to two or three of my photographer friends and say, hey, critique this. Am I right? Am I on the right track? What do you think? And I get feedback from them. But I'm also learning about Yes, with the old film, I mean, there, there was a lot of emulsions and um, when, when pictures stuck together in photo albums and stuff, I come across that, where images transferred over because they were in photo albums. Um, and I didn't know exactly what was going on, but I referenced, I have, I have a library that's, oh my gosh, I have like 1,200 books at home that I go through, and I have a full photography section, so I referenced that, figured out what was going on, sent it to somebody that deals with film all the time, and said, am I right? And fortunately for me, they said yes. <laughs> so I was happy, but yes, that's, I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly learning about it, I'm reading about it, and trying to learn more and more. Every time I come across something that I say I don't know about, I don't know if I can explain this, that launches me into research mode. And that's like a two, three, four o'clock in the morning that I'm up to reading about it, just figuring out. I want to know everything I can about that photo so I can, I can have a good understanding of it. So. Thanks, Good. Kenny. Thank you very much.